For the 10th year in a row, Martin Luther King Junior Day activities took place at Hopkinton Middle School. The festivities kicked off with a speech from clinical psychologist Dr. Arthur Sarah McCauley. There's a concept called Helper's High. Maybe some of you have heard about it. It's, it's what happens when you give to other people unselfishly. When your concerns for someone else is above your concern for yourself, in that moment you know that they have more pain than you do and you want to give to them. It's called Helper's High. What happens when you have Helper's High? You, re you release endorphins, the same thing as Runner's High. But what else do you release? Oxytocin, the bonding, loving hormone. The hormone that makes us calm, makes us healthy. People who have Helper's High, who experience Helper's High, studies have proven, are 10 times healthier, 10 times healthier than the normal population. Well, the speech basically was to focus on the fact that 48 years ago, we honored Dr. Martin Luther King in a time when our society was very stressed, people were untrusting, and prejudice was high. 48 years later, we're here today, we're facing very similar circumstances. Stress is very high, prejudice is high, race relations are poor. What can we do about it? We can enact in us what Dr. Martin Luther King enacted in his life, which is stand up against prejudice and hatred. The way to do that is to develop empathy and compassion. And when we do that, we elicit certain hormones in our brain, oxytocin and serotonin, which are calming, healthy neurochemicals, make us healthier people. And people who are giving, have, studies have proven, are far more successful personally and professionally. And remember, Dr. King is not honored, honored 48 years later because of the fact that he was a star athlete or, or, an, or a, won an Oscar in a movie. He was honored because he stood up against hatred and prejudice. And every one of us can do the same. We have to speak. We have to stand up and ask people and have a voice. Empathy cannot just be a passive capacity. It has to be put in action. All right, and uh, how long have you been uh, doing research about this topic? Well, I wrote a book called The Power of Empathy in 2000, so I've written several books similar, and I have a new book coming out in uh, May called The Stress Solution, which incorporates all of these ideas. After the speech, many activities took place in the Brown Gymnasium to benefit charitable causes or to help those in need. Uh, this is one of the things I love. Um, I love encouraging kids to do things that help them give back, give service, do thing, good things for others. Our speaker today, Dr. Arthur Sarah McCauley, was fabulous. He talked about that and how empathy and doing things for others actually makes you feel better. He talked about the scientific reasons for that. Um, it builds, it creates endorphins, it creates oxytocin or toxin. Um, so it's great in many ways. It helps others and it helps you too. So that's a little about what we're doing today. Um, helping others and it also makes us feel good. We have lots of activities going on in the Brown Gym again, like we usually do. Um, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, community teen. Um, there is a church here doing some projects. So we love this because it, it's something the kids can do as an activity to make it a day on and not a day off. Some of the volunteers talked to HCAM News about the activities that took place throughout the day. We obtained the fabric. Uh, yards of fabric and then we cut them down into long narrow strips or at least scarf length strips and then the ends are, are cut and knotted to make the tassels on the very end and ultimately they turn out to look something like this and they're of course um, Patriots right now are going to the AFC championship on Sunday so Patriots go Pats but we also have other themed uh, scarves such as soccer, we have uh, Red Sox scarves and others that will be sold this week at the middle school for five dollars each and again the profits will be benefiting two local organizations. So you just take one of the stamps, you pick your color of paper, squeeze the stamp into the ink and then just press it onto the paper to make the design. We're with Community um, the, which is also doing scars that can be sold at the mi middle school tomorrow and for the rest of the week. Um, we're um, making valentines and um, packaging them up with books and, um, and they're going to go to Project just because um, so they can give it to people who don't um, have any books. Um, we're making, we're making central pieces for the seagulls. So they're going to be used for like different holidays and they can put them on the foot of those.
in the middle of the team. It's a version of Katie Lynn that teaches kids about um, healthy foods and what processes go in making their foods and getting food from faraway places. It's just like Candyland, besides the only difference is if you land on the winter moth or plane, you lose a turn because the winter moth eats like the crops and the plane represents like all the fuel needed to bring food from long distances. And if you land on the baby carrots, since baby carrots are made from a lot of chemicals and bleaches to make them look like fresh and healthy in the size that they are, if you land on one of their spaces, you're stuck there till you get the same color at card as their pieces. Or the default is three turns. Yeah. We made locally grown, uh, or we made pickles that um, are made from cucumbers that grow in Hopkinton. Um, and they're grown with no added chemicals or preservatives in order to support uh, healthy eating habits and um, less processing. And, uh, this is our final project for a gold award, and half of the troops split up into uh, Girltopia, which is about empowering women to make a better society, and then half the troop um, is doing a project to support local farmers, and it's all about eating locally and the dangers of eating things that come far away. And basically the main idea is if we empower women more, it's going to close the wage gap and it's going to make economic growth rise and rise and rise. And all it's going to do is better our society and not worsen it. But if we keep it the way it is, our society is going to get worse and worse and worse. We're making coloring books for the children's hospital. <laughs> all right, terrific. <laughs> How long did it take you to make them? Um, like ten minutes. Yeah. Depends on what you put on the cover. Yeah. <laughs> Depends on how decorative you want to get. <laughs> oh, okay, so you just make the cover, or is there like a... Yeah. So we make the cover, and then you fill it with like ten different pages of things that the kids can color. So you kind of do an assortment. And there's adult coloring books also that you can make. We're collecting items for the Serenity House um, in Huffington. Charlie's helping me. Well, we're making <laughs> bags for people who have cancer. We're decorating them. And then after we decorate them, we fill them with all kinds of goodies. Some are for adults, uh, males, females, children, or you know, just a random one for whoever wants one. And they're really nice. And they make people very happy. They make you smile. See? I'd smile. <laughs> all right, terrific. Thank you.